Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Hey, listener. <laughs> of course, are you deaf? Of course I said your name. <laughs> Why, of course. Who do you think I'm talking to, your best friend? Oh, wait, you don't have a best friend because you're a short, fat loser. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry, what? I can't hear you with all this stuttering. T-t-what? I-I-what? <laughs> you are so freaking... Oh my goodness, I can't take you seriously. <laughs> oh, I see. You think Shuichi would ever ask you out? I don't think he's really interested in girls like you. Someone that's short, plus size. Wait, not plus size. Morbidly obese. <laughs> oh, trust me, he's never going to be with you. With that appearance. You go for someone like me that's way hotter and sexier. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Shuichi. Oh, hi. Is there anything you need? Hey, I heard that listener likes you. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, that's very nice of you, listener. <laughs> Don't tell me you like her back. I mean, it's all about the personality. Well, she seems like a very wonderful girl. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at the size of her arms and her belly and her thighs she is obese you don't know the real term of obesity plus she looks remarkable uh, excuse me you think that blob is remarkable are you kidding me did you got your head hit on like during basketball or something listen here i don't think it's really that nice to pick on someone's weight even though there's nothing wrong with them it doesn't really make you, you know, better. It makes you even worse. And plus, I think you're rotten on the inside. Uh, uh, Shuichi! Why would you say that about me? Oh, you don't like that? What happened to your friends? Oh wait, they're not here. Uh, 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 <laughs> Whatever! I'm going! He's all yours, listener! <laughs> uh, are you okay, listener? She didn't hurt you, right? <laughs> Good. I don't like it when others pick on others, just... They're probably jealous that you're more beautiful than they are. <laughs> of course I mean it. I'm not just saying that just because I'm cool. I mean, yeah, I am cool, but... I don't let it affect me. Uh, oh. Wait, listener! Um... <laughs> I was wondering if you'd like to, um, hang out? Yeah, um, maybe by the forest. <laughs> Let's just say I kind of wanted to show you something. Mm. Which club are you going to? Oh, how interesting. Hmm. I guess it ends at 3.30, right? <laughs> okay. I'll wait you by 3.30, okay? I got some clubs for myself as well. Mm. I'll see you in a bit. <sighs> oh, hey! I guess we meet at the same time. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Are you ready? Don't worry, it's not a long walk. I just hope we don't run into Yusuke and Kurabara, you know, fighting with the other guys. They're always in dark alleyways, so we'll be okay. Well, come on. I'll lead you to the forest. <laughs> you don't trust me. <laughs> well, I would never lead you into any danger. I just wanted to show you something that actually seems you kind of want to open your eyes and make you love yourself and to show that other girls could be really jealous of you. Excuse me? You think I'm a player? <laughs> I would never play a girl's heart. I know better. My mom taught me. Never play a girl's heart. I see a girl as a very fragile flower. You must be very gentle with it. Give it extra love. And never pluck the petals. <laughs> it's what my mother said. Yeah, I'm a mommy's little boy. <laughs> We're almost there. Oh, there's Yusuke. I don't really take him seriously. He's a very weird guy. I don't like him personally, but uh, he's okay in my book. Kurabara, on the other hand, um, he's quite of a hotshot. Always playing the tough guy. He actually has a crush on my, my best friend's sister. I think, yeah. He would always go nuts for her. Um, she doesn't go to the same school. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I planted all of these. Roses are indeed beautiful. It represents love and compassion. And it's beauty. And another thing, eternal love. And <sighs> can't believe I'm saying this, but listener, I need to tell you something. I want to make a confession to you. Promise me you will never tell anyone about this. Promise. I know this may sound very crazy, listener, but I am Kurama. My past life, I was a fox demon known as Yoko Kurama. I was known to be one of the most deadliest, most dangerous thieves of hell. Getting anything I want. I was big, pretty scary and threatening, but I was known as beautiful taking advantage of stealing things. How could I prove? Watch this. But I know Mochi. You see what I did? <laughs> I wish I can show you more proof, but maybe when you're ready. Because warning. Yoko Kurama can be dangerous up in person. He would really take advantage of you. Seduce you. Probably have you as his own treasure. Oh yes. I would snatch you away. Just like that. No one could find you. I don't think he knows about love. But, I do. <laughs> Listener, you represent this beautiful rose. It's how I see you. These thorns represent your toughness. The more hate you get, the more it hurts. And these petals shine just like you. Just like your beautiful eyes. 
I want to protect you, my little rose, making sure no one ever hurts you. Me and Yoko Kurama will be here for you. And I don't care how dangerous it would be. I would have you by my side and protect you. I mean it. <laughs> I also got another confession to make. Oh no. <laughs> Remember that she said that you like me? Well... I like you. <laughs> I always knew you were quite an interesting girl. I was just too nervous and too busy to say anything. But I've always had a thing for girls like you. So peculiar, mischievous, but intriguing in a way. Someone I'd be glad to have in my arms and protect. You remind me of this rose and I must protect you from danger. <laughs> I'll do my best every single day. Be my listener. My sweet little Rose, I won't let any other girl bully you like that. You're beautiful to my eyes. <sighs> Even Yoko says itself. We both think you're gorgeous. You have to go. I see. Um. <clears throat> uh. I hope we get to see again, see each other again tomorrow. I'll walk you to class. No, no, no. I'll meet you at the front entrance of the school. <laughs> You'll see. Listener. Before you go. I'll see you tomorrow, my little rose. <laughs>